we have shown you the growing number of street side vendors selling coconut water in Belize City. You've also seen how their operations have a symbiotic relationship with companies that sell single-use plastic bottles. Today, we sought to hear from more of those vendors. This time, we traveled outside of the city limits into Ladyville, where we met Giovanni Serini, his wife, and their toddler under a tent selling coconut water. The couple only began selling the product three days ago. Okay. We just started like one week ago. One week ago? Yes. Tell me why you got into doing this. Um, because we um, prefer to start to sell some coconut water because it's our benefits for our family because we have the school close to us. Okay. Yeah. And you have your sons in the school? Yes, I have one daughter and one son okay. and the baby. As history tells it, selling coconut water along highways began over two decades ago in Belize City. The first person to do so is said to be a man who is known by the name of Mr. Roland. Our attempts to track him down proved fruitless, but we did talk to someone who knew him. Hugh O'Brien, the program manager for Citrus and Diversification in the Ministry of Agriculture, was a close friend of Mr. Roland at the time. This guy Roland from Georgeville is, you would want to say, is the pioneer of the selling of coconut, green coconut, for water purposes on the street side. And he started in Belize City. There was nobody selling in, in San Ignacio, or in Belmopan, or anywhere else. And this um, one of his friends, Melvin Mendoza, used to sell plants. He was the first person who started selling plants out of the back of a pickup on the highway as well. Melvin Mendoza from Unitedville uh, would park in front of Palote, and Roland would park in front of Melvin. And so they would talk and chat. But those two guys, coincidentally, were the first two people in Belize, one selling plants on the street side, the highway side, and one selling coconut for water on the highway side. And today, we witnessed a similar operation method whereby coconut water vendors and small businesses selling other products like vegetables share the same space. This is a much different approach from the vendors in Belize City, which operate in isolation for the most part. Unlike Giovanni, who is only a week into selling coconut water, Braulio Escovel has been in the business for about two years. I tried to do a little business with vegetable first. The business never good, so when a guy will sell coconut water, tell me, hey, put out coconut business. So I start. Well, actually, I start first with a, with a small wood, and then I see it start to make good money, and start to work with it too. My product is natural and I don't mix it. Like say some people mix it for get more water. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. You understand? So you don't mix it. I don't mix it. If you, Go ahead. if you want to mix it, mix it with whiskey. <laughs> no, nothing else. This small industry has come a long way from its origins over two decades ago with dozens of street-side vendors now selling coconut water across the country. We don't have to go too far. You guys did a, a piece, a story, on co fresh coconuts being sold in, and in Belize City alone, there's as at least a dozen. And then in um, San Ignacio, during market days, you can find people in San Ignacio, and you'll find them at the speed bumps along the Western Highway, selling coconut water. and you find them even you find them down south at the the junction in Belmopan. So it's a very very common. There is at least uh, I say twenty five people around the country who are now making an income of selling coconut water as a fresh product uh, uh, on the street side. And while you can get coconut water from street side vendors, a variety of bottled coconut water is available in local supermarkets. Big H is credited as the first company in Belize to bottle and sell coconut water on the local market. The Harrison brothers, Richard and Orlando Harrison, launched their fresh bottled coconut water at the agriculture show in 1998. The Harrison brothers, Richard Harrison and, and Orlando Harrison, uh, started um, buying coconuts 
from, they would buy from farmers who would come in and deliver the coconut by pickup load to the big H processing plant in San Ignacio, opposite Secret Art College. And, and he launched the big H coconut water, the first coconut water product that was ever on the Belize market, locally produced and that was sold in the supermarkets. In 2014, it was estimated that the local coconut water industry was valued at more than $4 million, with more than 500 persons earning a direct income from the industry. Today, hundreds of thousands of acres of coconut trees are planted across the country as large investors seek to grab hold of the increasing global demand for coconut products like oil, milk, and powder. But these street-side vendors like Braulio and Giovanni are certainly here to stay. Well, actually, you see the roadside, most vehicle pass, and I sell in front of the college. Well, we got more people who pass by the, by the roadside. This is a Wamian road. Like I said, it's my first week, so um, kind of slow right now because, I don't know, maybe we, we don't have not too much customers or... I don't know, but kind of slow right now. Will you stay? Will you continue to do that? Of course. Of course, I will fight because, like I said, I have my family. I can't give up. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.